Hi, I'm Bill Lynn. I'm the Vice President of Heritage Arsenal. And today we're going to talk about a Sergeant First Class retired United States Army, Michael G. Stahl from Florida. Michael G. Stahl enlisted in the Army in 1963 as a parachute rigger and quartermaster and uh, became airborne qualified. And um, by the time he was promoted to Sergeant in 1965, he had volunteered for Special Forces at Fort Bragg, North Carolina, the Green Berets. Michael Stahl graduated from the course in 1967 and very soon found himself in Vietnam with the 5th Special Forces Group as an intelligence sergeant on a uh, operational detachment Alpha or A-team. After uh, coming back from Vietnam, he uh, successfully actually earned the Silver Star, the Bronze Star Medal, and uh, the Combat Infantryman's Badge, as well as the Vietnamese Cross of Gallantry. He uh, went, uh, was a student at, the, uh, at Monterey at the Presidio, where he was uh, qualified as a German linguist, having been an Arabic linguist when he went through the course, he was qualified in his second foreign language. Um, he actually served a second tour in Vietnam, this time with Mac V. SOG, Studies and Observations Group, which was a highly classified program that uh, extended from 1964 to 1972. There were about 1,500 special ops uh, personnel involved. Uh, from all branches of the service, but primarily from the Army standpoint, it was all uh, U.S. Army Special Forces. And in fact, uh, the CIA was involved, about 1,500 people. This uh, uh, mission was to uh, do a host of things, but primarily what they were doing was reconnaissance along the Ho Chi Minh Trail into Laos and Cambodia. Again, highly classified and wasn't actually declassified until 2001 when they received the presidential unit citation for their actions in Vietnam. Uh, Michael Stahl was a reconnaissance team uh, Michigan team leader. And uh, during a mission in 1970, he was uh, wounded in action, evacuated, and that uh, wound actually led to him being medically discharged from the Army in 1971 in January by President Richard Nixon. Um, he, at, on that second tour with Mac V. Sog, uh, did receive the Silver Star, a second Bronze Star, the Air Medal, and um, the uh, Vietnamese Special Forces Jump Wings. Now, as he was recovering in Walter Reed in uh, Washington, D.C., the Nixons invited him over to the White House, and he actually spent Thanksgiving dinner with uh, Richard and Pat Nixon, sitting next to General Westmoreland, the commander of all troops in Vietnam. So what we have on the wall behind us here are some of the effects of uh, Michael Stahl's that we'd like to take you through. First of all, his Class A uniform, uh, which you'll see is uh, two silver stars, two bronze stars, the Air Medal and the Purple Heart. At that time, the Purple Heart uh, was not as high in the order of merit as the Air Medal that has since been changed. Uh, that is his original beret from 1967 when he graduated June 16th from the Special Forces course where he became an intelligence sergeant. Ahead of me, you'll see actually Sergeant Stahl receiving the Vietnamese Cross of Gallantry from a delegation. Uh, you will also see a picture of his A-team here, and here's his graduation certificate from the course in 1967 at Fort Bragg. This certificate is particularly interesting in that it's very plain and in fact, this uh, piece of paper was classified for many years. This is actually the in-country graduation certificate for the Studies and Observations Group Reconnaissance Team Leader course, which uh, Sergeant Stahl was the reconnaissance team leader of RT Michigan. And this is actually signed by one of the five chiefs of SOG, uh, Colonel Stephen Cavanaugh. Uh, you'll also uh, see Sergeant Stahl's plaque uh, from his reconnaissance work with SOG, you'll see as well um, some ephemera from his Silver Star ceremony. The LLDB, uh, the Vietnamese Special Forces Jump Wing Certificate, as well as his uh, airborne certificate and class book from 1963. Here are some of the awards um, from Sergeant Stahl. Both of his Silver Stars signed by Creighton Abrams, who in fact, was not a fan of Special Forces, so I can only imagine uh, that pained him greatly to, to pen his name on a Special Forces uh, Silver Star Certificate. Here are uh, two Bronze Stars he received for service for both of his tours in Vietnam, the Air Medal for his second tour with SOG, and the Purple Heart with uh, his second tour with SOG as well. 
this uh, jacket was actually handmade by Sergeant Stahl. I had mentioned earlier that he was a parachute rigger and he actually took parachute silk and created this skydiving jacket. He was one of the early skydivers uh, as the sport was just coming into being in the United States. And see a bunch of his skydive uh, club patches, but one of note here is Sharpshooter Vietnam. There was actually a skydive club in South Vietnam which uh, Michael Stahl was a member of, and this is their Saigon made uh, patch. As well, we have his free fall log from his entire skydiving career, but four of the entries here are from free falls in Vietnam. One of them at 15,500 feet where he was pushing a bundle to a uh, team in the north uh, who was interested in a resupply. You also see the Vietnamese cross of gallantry with the certificate that I mentioned earlier and the photograph where he's actually receiving it. Uh, some of his other medals, a plaque from his time in the fifth group. Really interesting, we have a whole set of these is a, um, his first mission with SOG is actually captured in about a dozen photographs um, that were taken by a counterintelligence um, agent who had accompanied the team um, on an actual combat mission. These are some very, very rare photographs taken in the wood line during an actual combat mission. Here is the Thanksgiving Day menu from the Nixons, uh, that dinner that he actually attended as a wounded warrior recovering in Walter Reed and uh, being invited over to uh, the White House by the Nixons and some of the accompanying uh, photo uh, articles in his hometown paper. Here is two uh, language qualification certificates from the Defense Language Institute in Monterey, California, qualifying him as an Arabic and a German linguist. In seven years, Sergeant First Class Michael Stahl earned some of the um, uh, most coveted awards that the Army uh, could uh, possibly award an individual, as well as the acclaim of having been a Special Forces soldier, a Green Beret during the Vietnam conflict, the golden age of Special Forces and uh, medically retired due to his wounds, you can only imagine how far his career would have went. But uh, today we honor Michael G. Stahl of the U.S. Army Special Forces, Sergeant First Class Retired, a fifth group and SOG veteran of the Vietnam War.